I think just how to adapt, not only like in the department um, and like the people that you're working with, um, but just to the, dad's calling, um, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> um, but just to the, um, to the state or city that you're in and learning that culture and learning, you know, how things are done in, in every different place. Like Mississippi wasn't that different from home, um, but just everywhere you go just has these little quirks that, you know, you've got to learn a new grocery store and you've got to learn, you know, mm -hmm. <laughs> just stuff and like that. to Oregon, you don't pump your own yeah, gas. Yeah, you don't pump your own gas in Oregon. That was really weird. How you doing? Chris Madrigal here with Atlas Med Staff. I uh, have Lauren and her mom. You know, I didn't even get your name. Barbara. Barbara. <laughs> Barbara Borg and Lauren Borg. I found Chris through um, friends of mine that I worked with um, in Austin. They connected me with um, Chris because I really wanted to go to Oregon and they had done Oregon. I just didn't really know where I wanted to end up for sure. From small town Louisiana, I like randomly picked Austin when I graduated from college because I could, but I didn't necessarily feel like it was 100% home or at least I wasn't sure of it and there's so much to experience and I have a career that allows me to do it, so why not? Well, as Lauren will tell you, I'm a helicopter mom <laughs> and um, it scared me to death. It really did at first, but then I had other people who that I know um, who are nurses that expressed to me that they wished that they would have done it and they thought it was going to be a great experience for her. So that kind of made me feel a little bit more secure. And then her, with her first position being not far away in mm -hmm. Vicksburg, which, you know, was maybe like a four and a half hour drive for us. So it was, you know, that kind of calmed my nerves a little bit until she took the next one. Yeah. It's actually a privilege to be, it's not something I just do for a job, but it's really cool to get to know you. And like, you know how laid back Megan and Austin <laughs> yeah. are, you know? When you get referred a nurse, then it, it really comes down to the nurse that referred, because, you know, water seeks its own level, you know? And it's like, if, if she was cool with them, then I already was like, I can't wait to just talk to this nurse. I would say the best part is just having another nurse that you can just talk to. And this is the first time we've met, and it's, yeah. just, it's just like hanging, like, it's like a friend, like, hey, I, I know you. Chris is amazing to work with. Like I gave him um, really hard stipulations. It was like, all right, Chris, like, I don't know you, but this is where I need to be. Um, and I'm only taking assignments there and I'm only gonna like look at jobs there. Don't even think about sending me anything else. And it was like, never like, oh, this person is crazy. <laughs> with Chris, it was always like, this is our goal. And it's, it's our goal. It's not your goal, it's our goal which was really cool. The best part of travel nursing, I think is just like going places and doing things that I would have never done before. Like this last assignment in Colorado in general was like a great example of that. I, I had gone on like a handful of ski trips with a couple of friends that was like a couple of days and this gave me the opportunity to like really check out Colorado and really learn how to ski and I'm really good now, <laughs> and, um, which is saying a lot from the beginning of the season. Um, and, um, and you know, now I'm even like, I, I'm considering Colorado as like a permanent place for me to live, which I mean, again, yeah, she's super happy about that. Um, coming from South Louisiana, like I would have never considered that before. I mean, when Kenneth moved out there, it was like yeah. this really weird thing to us. It was a yeah. big deal when my brother moved out there. Housing. <laughs> Fitting everything in your vehicle. It's so bad. <laughs> this little angel just makes it so much harder. Uh, <laughs> um, but uh, housing, for sure. I think the ability to just, like, the, the flexibility to just be everywhere that I need to be when I need to be there. And, like, Chris has been awesome about getting me where I need to be. I mean, whether it's for my friend's wedding in Oregon or to be near my brother around Christmas time. With a normal job, no way you would be able to do all of that. Like, no way you would have the time off. Um, and so I've been really lucky to be able to just have more time with the people that I want to have time with. Next, I am on my way now to Austin. Um, so I'm actually gonna be working at my old, old hospital and my old department with my old friends and old doctors. And uh, I'll be there as a traveler, which I think is gonna be a really cool experience. Um, and I'm, I'm excited to go back to them. It's pretty much what I expected. Um, you know, I, I, she can probably tell you, I, 
kind of go, I've kind of learned to kind of calm down a little bit and go with the flow. I think her dad gives her more of a... Oh my God, yeah. <laughs> he's more of on the business part, you know. She and I just talk more of the social part of it and he, you know, he's more concerned about, you know, is she making enough money? Is she safe? Is she, you know, doing what she's supposed to do or is she just totally doing the wrong thing with her life? But, you know, he supports her too. So we both do. We're very proud of her.